Hey Aquarius, this is Ascension Empress with your June love reading. So thank you all so much for your support, your love, your positive feedback. Thank you for your patience, okay? Your girl had to recharge and clear some energy. Um, personals, finally, we getting those out the way. I am open. My information is below. If you would like one, you can email me. And there will most likely be a special. I actually didn't tell the other signs. I told one other sign, but there will be a solstice special most likely. So stay tuned. Ooh, okay. Y'all have had a lot of ancestral activity around you. A lot of support, push, okay. So I'm excited to see what messages we have for you all. Um, we do have some new decks as well that I'll be implementing in the readings later on this week. And, ooh, shoot, okay, yeah, and we're going to be talking about the eclipses as well, so look out for that. Um, Mercury, oh, this energy is something else, y'all. We got Mercury retrograde, we got Mercury in Gemini, look at that, okay, and the chariot card, as soon as I heard that, the little zoom, I don't even know what that was, it sounded like a, a little motor on a bicycle, that's a, like an actual bike. <laughs> um, but, you know, these eclipses are really is getting us right okay even in one of the most uncomfortable ways okay or many of the most uncomfortable ways so let's see what messages oh there we of course there's somebody still watching okay i like how it went to the past though okay wow wow and i was getting that energy around y'all like y'all just really in this five of swords energy but now you know that's been a theme for y'all for like almost a year now seems like since like that last full moon in Aquarius okay so these two full moon in Aquarius is just coming up in Leo season is like a whole nother round of eclipses for y'all or should I say us okay and I don't know if it was this for you somebody was like how are you gonna call Aquarius a water sign like girl bye <laughs> My moon is an Aquarius. Can I can I not mess up during this retrograde too? Okay, so let's see. What messages do we have? Ooh, look at that. Okay, okay. Like, you're going to have to go from the page to the sword on, on people. Okay, especially when it goes going forward. Okay, I feel like this is what you want. You want stability. You want peace. This cancer energy is strong, y'all. It's strong. Okay, so maybe cancer season, which makes sense because that's when, okay, so yeah, we had this, you know, little obsession in the past. You were somebody else with this page of swords energy, this walking, well, I said walking, okay, I don't know. It's not, okay, so the, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles has been popping up. Okay, so somebody may be feeling like something is moving too slow, a connection is coming together, but this is the central issue. I mean, it's the energy in the reading. If somebody's becoming clear going forward, many of y'all, this is you with this King of Swords energy, okay? And I'm also getting there's boundaries being set. I'm getting uh, my... Okay, so somebody is going to be courageous when it comes to their communication, but I was going to say mind over heart. All right, but there is some transformation happening overall as well. Somebody's becoming aware um, or having this realization. There may be some epiphany, okay? But this is much like, um, was it Scorpio's energy from a boy to a man? Even Libra's been having this energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with the Libra, but I feel like this justice energy is just it's strong for the collective. So let's see. What messages do we have overlaying the reading? What messages? Ooh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> you got the three pinnacles. Okay, so there is some planning here around a union coming together, a home situation. Okay, collaboration. All right, also, you know, that third-party energy. Somebody... We're going to have to see, y'all. We're going to have to see. Because something ain't clear. But there is a connection here. And then it's going to be real clear going forward. All right. So, oh, we. Okay. So, let's clarify real quick. We're going to pull the kipper. Let's clarify see what this moon energy is. What do we need to know? I feel like it has a lot to do. New moon and cancer as well is what I heard. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, yeah, these eclipses. So somebody may be getting some type of message. There's going to be some fast communication. Like I said, yeah, somebody's going to become aware of something or informed of something real fast. Okay, yeah, and that, this could have been that waiting energy, wondering, okay, or waiting to communicate, which would make sense with this Mercury retrograde. And as, as soon as the sun goes into Cancer is when Mercury will start to go direct. But I'm getting, like, more towards the end of June, early July, some stuff is just going to become 
it's just going to flow is what I'm hearing as well. So there may be a conversation. What do we need to know about this Four of Wands energy? Look at that. I know that's right. Okay, Four of Wands and the Four of Swords. You got two fours. So there's a lot of energy around security, stability, foundation. Okay, especially I'm getting individual, um, you know, your mental health. Also, when it comes to planning, all right, somebody just wants peace and comfort. Okay, this Cancer energy is strong. I'm um, hearing peace within the home. What do we need to know with this King of Swords? Because this may be a clarify going forward. What do we need to know? Somebody, look at that. Wow. Wow. I told you, somebody's becoming clear of something. And many of y'all, it's you. Okay, this could be masculine, feminine energy. Take it how it resonates, okay? Because this somebody is standing up for what they really want. Okay, this is beyond a wish and a dream. This is what they fighting for this ten of cups energy okay fulfillment you know this union this home this family okay this could be the planning okay is what i'm getting as well what do we need to know about this three of pentacles energy yeah there's been a lot a lot of clarity a lot of transformation happening look at that yeah somebody's ready to take action okay definitely ready to take action towards happiness and what they want okay and they're not they're not backing down they are not backing down all right, what do, we need, what do we need to know about this Knight of Swords energy? Because I feel like you could be receiving this insight. That's why maybe you're, somebody's protecting the energy at this time. If somebody's not wanting, let's see. Ooh, look at that. Okay, mm. Knight of Swords energy, King of Pentacles. Okay, so I'm getting there's communication about, again, this stability, this Capricorn energy building, okay, of a foundation, reliability, being dependable. Okay, so somebody could be saying this and proposing this, wanting to step a lot of masculine energy. I like it, though. Like, it's a healthy sense because even though earth energy is feminine, you have this king of pentacles here, which is actually a man in this one. And then you have the king of swords, which is actually a woman in a suit, you know, and she's able to take on, you know, that energy. So somebody may even be pro protecting themselves at this time. They may come off a little cold. A little emotionally detached but i'm getting it's because they're protecting their peace of mind with this four swords but spirit is going i'm getting the walls are going to just fall they, they're kind of just going to fall back a little bit as soon as this you know energy really starts to show i'm getting consistency and stability this is strong so let's see what do we need to know with the kid clarify the magician then we're going to clarify this energy going forward wow Okay, yeah, magician card. You got the. Oh, wow. Okay, so you got the commute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, from the page to the King of Swords. There's four cards here, y'all. So, first you have the occupation, then you have the main male here, the official person, and the community. So, again, somebody's going from, you know, wanting to be a male a main male I, I just see an expansion of expectation self expectation okay so going from you know being this main male feeling like they're living the average lifestyle whether you know man or woman to realizing they can really tap into this official person energy you know be this king of swords have this ten of cups be this king of pinnacles in the eyes of family in the eyes of community yeah that's nice that's real nice okay because you got four again 22 with the official person and then community card you got 12 mm-hmm that cre that creation okay which would make sense because that will really match empress energy here with this official person i'm getting a uh, look at that there you are <laughs> i told you so having this emotional intelligence yeah so some of y'all could be taking on the study or just tapping into you know having this awareness i'm getting psychology okay psychoanalysis as well that full moon and scorpio may have really had y'all reevaluating your own emotions your own thought process in this there's a huge development happening here okay i just see that spirit is rewarding you with these eclipses in king energy like there's levels and y'all are definitely yeah 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 moving on up let's see what do we need to know what do we need to know wow oh we okay somebody may not be oh wow dang Look at that. Okay, people, the devil ain't ever going to be happy when you move and you overcome this anxiety, when you come, you overcome this mental hole, okay? Mm, okay, the, I feel like there is 
this in, there's this energy there's a spirit maybe a connection that is it has a lot of guilt it wants you to be in guilt and shame okay and fear but really this is the saturn retrograde that's just showing you what you don't have to take with you okay owning your own demons for what they are and turning it around again like knowing you don't even have to be in this energy you don't have to be no average main male main female side chick none of that you can be a official person you can be a mature man you can be king of swords see right through other people's whatever okay it's like keeping high standards and still lowering expectations, it's not the same thing. Just like reconciliation and forgiveness is not the same thing. So I feel like y'all are really having your priorities straight going forward with this Ten of Cups here. And I love it, okay? So let's see. What's the overall message? Overall message for my Aquarius. Ooh, baby. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. What? I told you. I told you. It's going to be no confusion. Okay, and I told you the way it's going to flow. So something around... What you communicate, okay, some of y'all may be writing something, okay, I do see publish, publishing going very well, something around, you know, the new moon solar eclipse in Sagittarius, so Sagittarius season, y'all, I'm trying to tell you, my, I can't wait for my birthday, I cannot wait, okay, but look, tap in, y'all, okay, receive, make sure you get some rest too, because I do see like some exhaustion, okay, so whatever fear, whatever is replaying in your mind this devil energy that is taking over the faith and the action that can that y'all can be investing in with this magician card make sure y'all see it for what it is make sure you get your rest so that you can you know have that discernment because i feel like i'm hearing the time to speak the time to act there's something good news something is coming okay very fast and i'm excited for y'all it's gonna be right around this you know as soon as this gemini energy starts to kind of just you know smooth on out so we're gonna see let's pull up overall divine feminine message for you okay i'm excited let's see what is the overall message overall divine feminine message i feel like i'm a marathon Ooh, we yes Whew. and i feel like this is a message for you especially it's saying the princess of mercy okay so having mercy if, if some of y'all are feeling if you're feeling it in this five of cups this devil energy this ten of swords feeling guilty feeling betrayed feeling tired feeling drained feeling exhausted it's saying have mercy on yourself okay what well, look hold up this is saying giving is receiving the energy of the universe is merciful and i love that like i love this card because it that's it is what it is okay and this is not one of those easier said than done energies the magician card is here for a reason you having the clarity you being in your element in the midst of a retrograde okay being able to sort through your own issues and still have mercy that you're giving the universe your healing you're giving them you know the space to create for god to use you so for you to have this like it's there's going to be Ace of Pentacles that pops up in your life. There's going to be Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. That opportunity is going to be everywhere you turn because you're constantly giving. But make sure you have that balance, okay? Make sure you're giving in love, giving in faith, giving in joy, okay? And in gratitude, y'all. I'm so excited for y'all. What? Okay, so let me know how this resonates with you all. Thank you again so much for all your love and your support. If you would like a personal, you can email me. My information is down below. Take care, you all. Bye.